Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the handpiece in the design that I made. Uh, it's a bit cumbersome, I, I agree. It, it's, it, it kind of uh, hinges the possibility of maintenance. But since it's so cheap to make and easy to make, I thought it was a better idea to just go for the glue and the way that I'm doing. I had before some screws in the design but then I, I realized that the screws they increase the size of the the walls here and then it make kind of a cumbersome I, ca I could reduce like four millimeters in diameter I, I know that we are pushing here in the limit and this solenoid here came from the one catway handpiece I didn't like this one I have a, an 18 volt power supply and I made my own with the same solenoid. So this is the solenoid that went inside. So what you're going to do is, is screw all the way here to the end. This is the brass collet that I, I have a video how to make it. And then you would just put it inside and put some glue here. I use, I use like cyanoacrylate glue, glue or for the final design, I just go for the some resin, epoxy resin. After I do it, I put some way to hold the 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 wire in place. I thread the wire here by just putting it inside. It's a, a big opening here. For the other hand pieces, like the 16, 1642 and the solenoid from Aliexpress, it's kind of uh, not that open. So what I do is I'm, uh, I'm make a hook of metal and then I put inside, I put the wire from the solenoid and then pull it outwards. So after, after this, I just go and glue it in place. You can see that the, the wires are, are good inside. And then I solder all the connections. So I put a strain relief here and then solder the wire. And then I reassemble the GX connector the same way that it was before. So all my hand pieces use the same the same one in a way that is easy for me to just switch hand pieces if I want to. So I'm gonna show you the other ones. This is the 1642 hand piece. That is the, the best one all round if I want to go for a strong hand piece and a fine one at the same time. That's why I have the switch. And it's good because I can open here and I can replace the plunger. So what I did to this one was to cut it. I reduced like uh, seven millimeters from from the whole size and now it barely comes out of the opening. So I shortened also the, the brass collet here. Instead of 24 millimeters, I'm just going all the way up to the limit of, of the collet so it touches the exit of the solenoid this way made the handpiece uh, 17 millimeters shorter so i think it's still a great size this one i can engrave i can i can stone set all the way down it is soft and all the way up is strong so i made this setting here I have this setting that I made with this handpiece and I also made the same 2mm pavé with this handpiece. I used only this one. I also set some 6mm stones, some 9mm stones in a plate just to see if it was going to bezel, bezel set and it did. So I recommend this one if you are going to go for only one handpiece. Another good thing to pay attention to is the orientation of the cable in relation to the spin here. I orient all my my collets 
in the following way. The pin is here and 90 degrees from the pin is my graver. So if I get any graver from my my support, I know that they are going to be 90 degrees from the pin. So since they are 90 degrees from the pin, I will drag the this way here. And since I'm right-handed, when I hold the graver, the wire won't be in the way. So it's good for you to notice it. So even all the other hand pieces, they are like this. So I know if I'm going to pick the, the other hand piece, the wire won't be in the way because they are oriented in the same direction. So if you have any doubts, just please contact me or leave the comment on the, the description on, on the video and give a like if you liked, give a dislike if you disliked it, it it's good for me to know what people want or uh, what people are thinking. So, and that's it. Thank you so much and have a great week.